Good morning. I don't know if you can hear this. It's pretty windy today. Uh, this is the Ford 8N that uh, I went and picked up yesterday. This is going to help us do <clears throat> some market gardening. Hopefully. Uh, the guy I bought from, he rebuilds these, puts them all back together. And that's the end. needs or some of his old ones and uh, repaints them and he's done about 30 of them he said so seems like a good guy to uh, get stuff up this system here <laughs> I, I bent it already you're, you're supposed to leave the uh, the drawbar down and I, I must have bumped the lever with the three-point hitch and I brought it up and it both arms bent not not these arms but these little things are kind of flimsy <clears throat> but it's just so everything's stable back there when you're trying to tow this is this is the for the um, three-point hitch to lift it and lower it and uh, I must have bumped it or something anyway um, yeah, it's a little four-cylinder gas engine, and uh, got a four-speed uh, transmission. Everything, everything looks pretty, <laughs> almost new, you know. Um, so the gauges work. Painted the seat even, and power takeoff take off works. It's not leaking anything. Um, I have a, another piece for the power takeoff uh, because these these were live PTOs, um, so like it, you, um, they would always be going unless you put the clutch in, and uh, and if you're running a bush hog, like the centrifugal motion will just I, even after you put the clutch in, it, it'll keep you rolling ahead 10 feet or whatever. I, I don't know how far, but <clears throat> it will um, move you places you don't may not want to go. So um, there's a piece you put on the back there, which he gave me one, and it uh, makes it so it freewheels. It, it only moves one direction, so it won't keep you going. This little piece here it may look funny, but it. So this is a, um, these baffles create a vortex inside here. This is the air intake. And there's an air cleaner in there that you would have to tap out every day. But then they developed this, where they put a, like a, uh, something else in there where all the particles would have to slam into it and they would be forced down into this jar. And you can actually see that it filled up a little bit. We ran it uh, for, uh, about six hours on the way home um, because it was negative 20 uh, we picked it up so uh, he was worried that uh, everything would get so cold that he would have a hard time getting started um, so yeah anyway uh, new tires all the way around these are actually uh, um, combine tires I guess they're the same size. And he found some good rims, or he bought them, I'm not sure which, but they're good rims. Usually they're rusted out. And, uh, and then the front tires are new as well. And then, uh, some of these eight ends, you look around and they don't have lights. Uh, this one had lights, which I like. Uh, this is the radiator you can you can take a look in there and you need to this is for the cap for the coolant and, uh, if you go over here this one here it lifts up uh, this is your gas tank it's five gallons and in all in six hours like we barely touch the top of it it doesn't burn much fuel 
and this is a little toolbox six volt battery and he said not to upgrade it to 12 volt because um, the starter remains in a six volt setting you can't change that and he said he'll just burn it right out um, yeah I don't know what else to tell you yeah I can start it. So usually you turn the key on, which is right over here. Turn this, this is off, this is on. And then pull the clutch out. Put this uh, throttle in about that position. The starter is down here. Oh, it's in gear. They had this um, muffler. They had a muffler system down here, um, which I'm not entirely crazy about, but I guess if that's what they did, because um, you know how tractors are normally they they come up. Let's choke again. Anyway, that's that's all.